last two games? Yeah, I think uh, you've seen patient, had to be patient. Um, I think overall I've played a lot better hockey. Um, but, you know, sometimes the bounces don't go your way or, or some, some things happen. And uh, it did the, the last two games where, you know, the start against Winnipeg, played some good hockey, but we're down. And tonight felt like we were doing a lot of good things and we were down a lot of the game. Um, but you have to you have to play a full 60 and stay with it and don't break away from the game plan. And it's a good sign that we, uh, you know, after a tough road trip there, we, we come back and uh, show some uh, resiliency against some adversity here. Your team has to feel like you're due some of that puck luck that's uh, come your way the last couple. Yeah, I don't know. You, you don't think like that. You know, you usually if you if you work hard and, and keep doing, I think, you know, our our mentality of getting pucks to the net and, um, you know, shooting pucks and, and being more aggressive on our toes uh, has been better the last two games, not not waiting for the other team to take it to us. So when you do that, things start to go your way. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing now is consistency. You keep doing it here the whole way in. No one knows better than you how good Henrik Lundqvist can be. How good was he today? Yeah, you know, he's he, you know, he's a great goalie. Uh, a lot of big saves tonight. And, you know, I was uh, fortunate to get him where he was at a position there at the end. And, uh, you know, but that's you just got to keep peppering him. Uh, heard a lot of a lot of people tell me to shoot for <laughs> only five or six <laughs> seconds, but uh, you know, there's you just there's so much traffic I couldn't uh, couldn't get anything through, so I was waiting for Z to to pop out, and he got something through. Uh, well, not technically not through; it still hit Abby, um, but you know, I, I kind of snuck back there, and um, everybody was looking at Z, I think, so I, I kind of just snuck in there, and puck came to me, and those are those are fun when you you see an open net. You've played this game a long time. Do you sense something different coming with this team, the way that you've won the last couple? No, I mean, we've we've put together wins before. You know, it's uh, there's still a lot of hockey left. Uh, you know, uh, it, it is like playoff hockey where you lose a game and you think everything is coming to an end and you win a game and people are uh, excited, but you got to, you know, you got to be even keel. It's, it's uh, you know, stay calm and come back to work. Uh, huge game tomorrow. Can't let the foot off the gas. And, uh, you know, you got to keep backing up these points. Um, you know, it's the I, I, I don't I, I don't know that like there's a lot of teams. It just depends kind of how it all sets up. Uh, I know when I played there, you, you know, the, the reason I went there when when I did was because, you know, the, the management ownership want to try to win um, every year and, and they they do that. Um, it doesn't mean if you don't make trades, uh, you're not trying to win. So, um, you know, there's always different parts uh you know different uh, times in a franchise's part right now they they feel like they have the window the last five six years with that goalie um i think you know why wouldn't they try to keep adding it if, if they can um you know just like this team probably did in you know in the late 90s and early 2000s so um you know it's always good that that's what's great about playing original six teams uh, they all have pride where they want to win every year it's not uh you know or the ones i played on anyway it's always uh it's about right now, and um, there's always different processes, but it's fun to be a part of.